should always enjoy a little something to eat before going to bed. Uh, uh, oh, hey, what's going on? Time to wake up. But it's night time. Yes, and we have a show to do. A late show? That sounds like fun. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, now I remember. We were going to do something on newspapers. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Late night is a very busy time in a newspaper office. They're getting ready now to print the morning paper. In the middle of the night? What kind of newspaper is that? A very large one. Almost 400,000 copies will be printed tonight. By dawn, the paper will be in news boxes all across the city. to write stories so late at night. Whoa! The story writing is nearly all done by now. Most of the reporters have gone home. The real action is in the composing and printing departments. Everyone works fast because they have only three hours to design the paper. They only have three hours to make up a whole newspaper? That's all the time that's left. What's the squiggly stuff mean? Each sheet is a sketch of one page in the newspaper. It shows where the pictures, advertising, and news will go. You mean on a page like this, a picture could go here, and there, a story over here, some advertising at the bottom and a cartoon over here. It looks like a pattern. That's the idea. Everyone in this room is following the same pattern. As each page is finished, its picture is taken. so big this kind of camera takes extra sharp pictures each page is checked to be sure it's clear then it's copied onto a plate a dinner plate <laughs> I don't think so just kidding the plates they're making will be put onto the printing press you'll see how later In your grandfather's day, printing plates were made of metal. And they were much heavier. The metal plates would be bolted onto the presses. Printing presses in those days smelled of grease and ink. The press rooms were dark and noisy and very hot. keep the presses anyway down here in the press room they're loading them up now with newsprint it takes a lot of paper to print half a million copies every night printing plates are fitted on the big rollers. Time is getting short. The presses will start in 10 minutes. Each 
plate goes in a particular spot. What would happen if he makes a mistake? The pages would get all mixed up. He better not make a mistake. Now the presses are ready. Here they go. This is only a test run. They'll print for a minute and then stop. For the next little while, the press room is a busy place. Sample copies of the paper are examined. The colors must be right, pages in order, no smudges, everything clear and easy to read. Settings on the presses are changed. They look at every page? Every one. Soon, the presses start up again. So now they just print and print until 400,000 copies come off? Well, that's what's supposed to happen. But sometimes a press breaks down or the paper snaps. Then everything stops. Conveyor belts carry the newspapers to the mail room. They're bundled up and another conveyor takes them to the delivery trucks outside. The parking lot is full. Trucks come and go all night long. The number of bundles sent to each truck is recorded. As the trucks are loaded, the presses keep running. They'll go until the sun comes up. But upstairs in the composing room, the night's work is all done. Everyone's gone home to bed. And tomorrow night, they'll do the whole thing again. Hmm, so now the paper's printed, and I can get some sleep. Ah, uh, me too. Can you design a page in a newspaper? It might be fun to try. Take the pictures and write the stories yourself. Or cut them out of newspapers and magazines.